All aboard your Tech News Games and Deals caboose. We have a couple of Razer things like their little monitor they just announced and some Razer Blade RTX laptop upgrades. And we have a PSVR foot controller that we'll also talk about in gaming. So let's jump into Razer's monitor. This is the Raptor 27 inch monitor. This is being announced today. It's not coming out for a little while until later in the year, but 27 inch IPS, 2560 by 1440p monitor. And that's a one millisecond response time. And I believe 144 Hertz. We'll get to that in a second. 95% DCI P3 color. So wider than the sRGB standard. HDR 400 monitor goes up to 420 nits. So not the brightest. There's some Samsung monitors up to, Samsung phones up to a thousand nits already. So here's the 144 Hertz lightning fast monitor. You get some RGB around the stand glowing out. So you'll be able to obviously control that with Razer Synapse as well. Razer Chroma here it is, 16.8 million colors. And then they have a lot of connection. They have the HDMI 2.0A. They have DisplayPort, USB-C, two USB 3.1 ports. And these are all on the back and the cables are actually included, these flat and green cables. So it'll look exactly like this. It won't just be a mess of your own wires. And then headphone jack and then display port via USB-C. And the bezels are very thin all around the whole edge, except the bottom, kind of thick around the bottom. And this monitor is coming with a adapt adaptive display free sync. So you'll get nice smooth frame rates if you're using an AMD graphics card. And we're not sure about the G-Sync on, on this. We'll have to wait a while until it actually gets announced, released, launched. And a 90% tilt. So the actual monitor will tilt 90 degrees so you can get back to the plugging everything in. So you're going to different land stuff and you need to move it around a bunch. So here are the actual specs, a bunch more specs. It's gonna be $700, so a little expensive. 1440p monitors are obviously more expensive than 1080p, but all the other stuff they're bringing in, 144 hertz displays usually gets quite a little bit more. And it's available again later this year. So height adjustable, 90 degree tilt, we were just talking about, includes all the cables, power, HDMI, display port, and those are the flat green cables. And the weight is 25.4 pounds. So that's including the stand and the 27 inch monitor. So Razer's jumping into monitors. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We also have some more Razer news. This is the new Razer Blade. This is getting the RTX graphic card, graphic integration into their laptops. So the advanced model is getting the RTX and there also is going to have a white version that's also going to support the RTX graphics options. And there's three graphics options, the 2060 RTX and then the 2728, both Max-Q designs. There isn't a size difference, so maybe the 2060 is just smaller in general and didn't need the Max-Q thermal performance stuff, so we're not quite sure what's happening there, but we also get to see two options of display, 144 Hz, 1080p or 4K touch. And then the advanced model lose, loses the dual storage. It only has single storage. And then it has per key chroma, so you can customize each key instead of zones. Like there's like four zones, you can customize each key. And we also lose the gigabit ethernet port for the advanced model. And it's very thin for a laptop. This is going to be the world's thinnest gaming laptop, I believe they say. And 100% sRGB or Adobe. This is the 1080p versus a 4K option. Right here it is. Here's some Fortnite at 144 hertz. It's a lot better on the eyes. And again, world's smallest 15.6 inch gaming laptop at 0 0.70 inches thin and weighing at 4.5 pounds. This is a 15.6 inch laptop. So pretty small. And then other specs are up to 64 gigs on the advanced version of actual dual channel, dual channel memory. And then the advanced model has up to 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. You're not getting that extra drive option there for your Razer laptop. Here's the internal cooling, pretty high tech stuff from Razer. <laughs> and there's some lighting and here's the actual port. You're losing the ethernet for the advanced model. And also the other change to IO is a little bit more power hungry of a port, 230 watt port, instead of the smaller circular 180 watt. And then your other IO, HDMI display port and stuff. And then here are the actual models and pricing. This is coming January 29th, whereas the monitor, we don't have a release date. 
and it's starting at $2,300. That's for the 2060 model, a little expensive, but we also get the 2070 starts at $2,400, and then the 28, 2080 is $3,000, and that's there's no 32 gigabyte option for memory. I saw that was in one of the options, so we're not sure on pricing for that. And then the Mercury White Edition is going to be 2350 and 2650, no 2080 option there. So, bunch of Razer stuff, cool, cool, cool. We also have some G-Sync Ultimate stuff that we mentioned in yesterday's quick little extra video update. And I just wanna do a little bit more clarifying. So there's 12 G-Sync monitors G-Sync compatible approved monitors basically, and they're still testing more. But there is also going to be a new NVIDIA control panel option that will enable owners to try to switch their, their tech on. So this is for monitors that aren't passing the test, but are async monitors. You'll be able to go into the NVIDIA control panel and it may work, it may work partly, or it may not work at all. So that's going to be up to whatever, you know? <laughs> and that is G-Sync compatibleness. We also have a little bit more explanation of G-Sync Ultimate. This is their like three checklist certification. So for the final version, you're going to, the monitors are going to have a thousand nits in advanced processors. So basically HDR, really bright lights and like low blacks. And then this is G-Sync, what you, all the other, all the other monitors that have previously been G-Sync compatible are certified and this they do a bunch of image tests image quality tests and these are the only monitors that get g-sync ratings basically and then the 12 monitors that were just validated are these ones up here asus acer benq and an aoc one and these are just the monitors they tested that are g-sync compatible so you got three different levels of g-sync so just wanted to clarify that from yesterday's video You'll have the option to try G-Sync on any async monitor and then your three different levels. And then that leads us into some game news. We have the 3D Rudder. This is a foot controller for PSVR. Now it should be able to control motion. So you'll get your tilt forward, tilt to the left and right to move, and then you're actually be able to swivel. In about three seconds it shows I'm actually swiveling and turning to the side to control your character or different controls and there he just swiveled and this is coming for the PSVR in April and it's going to be $120 this includes the foot little attachment which is the same as $120 for the regular PC VR version and this is from the 3d rudder store and what games are compatible with the foot controller you ask well by April we'll have more than 30 games here's a couple that they have already listed Sarantino VR there's some Pirate Flight, so some Flight Games, Blind, and some Honor and Duty D-Day and Arcade Edition. And then these are just, I think, 15, 14, 15 games, and there's gonna be more. So you'll be able to play PS VR with your feet. Pretty cool if you're into PlayStation and VR. And some game game news. We have Alien Blackout. This was kind of teased a little while ago with a tweet. And we now find out today that it is a mobile game coming soon for Apple, Google Play, and even on the Amazon App Store. And what we get here is a short little trailer. They don't really show too much. There's a couple of breathing. Some doing some work in the, in the spaceship. Yep, there's something coming on that red dot. Oh no, we don't know what it is. And tons of blood in the, don't look. Okay, there's probably not any blood, but anyways. Basically, the game is going to be a mobile game on your phone and there's going to be possible outcomes so you have choices to make. Sacrifice different crew members, avoid deadly contact, move in different areas or such. And there's going to be seven fear-inducing levels. So if you're scared of dark and alien stuff, be afraid, don't play this game. Uh, you're gonna be fighting deadly xenomorphs. And then the features are survive or die and the seven levels, a new chapter, so this is between the films Alien and Aliens. Nice film names. And then there's the first class mobile experience, obviously perfectly designed for a mobile. And then different conclusions like we kind of already mentioned. And so that's the mobile game. If you have a phone, which I think most people do, you could check that out if you're super excited. And if a mobile game isn't quite what you were hoping for, 
Cold Iron Studios is still working on a new installment for PC and console, which Fox Next confirms is a massively multi-online shooter set in the Alien Cinematic Universe. So we'll have some more Alien stuff probably to go over in the next couple weeks to month, see what's happening there. And a couple more upcoming announcements. ESO Elder Scrolls Online has a big announcement coming January 15th, 2 p.m. on twitch.tv slash Bethesda. And we're probably looking at an expansion and there's some prizes for actual viewer basage. Interesting. 55K, a new unique wallpaper, 70K, everyone will get a Guar pet across all platforms. That'll be console as well. And then 90K, Rich will commit to getting an ESO test to somewhere. So I don't think people are going to get to choose what he gets, but it's just gonna be somewhere on his body. And we're looking at going to Elsewire. Tell me if I said that wrong, but anyways, we will get to go to the home of the fluffy Khajiit based on a Twitter tease saying cats out of the bag and also some data mining, the expansion details. So get hyped for that if you are into Khajiits or playing as a Khajiit. And a couple comments saying, this one is proud. Khajiit has wares if you have coin. I'm not super good at the voices, voices but either way, <laughs> that's my attempt. <laughs> And some more news coming soon. Black Desert arrives on Xbox March 4th. So you can pre-order today if you are super ready to play this on the console, if you're into your MMOs. And 4K Ultra HD and HDR is going to be big drives there for the Xbox One. Uh, game features, it's an MMO. A little bit grindy. There was a Black Desert little announcement back in a little couple weeks ago and they kind of hyped up a lot of the different grinding and made things more accessible and easier to level up so this might be a good time to get back into it especially if you wanted to play console so here's a short little trailer with some fighting some dragons some knights and armors fighters there's the wizards sorcerer there's a the wizard cool stuff there and we have a deal for today we haven't been doing deals, but this is the Xbox Live Gold three month membership and 25 bucks. That's not a deal, except that there's a bonus of buy a three month Xbox Live Gold membership and receive an additional one at no charge. Here's how. And that's available until March 31st on Amazon. Link in the description below. So that is your gamey news that we've kind of been lacking a little bit, but we threw that in there today. And we have a couple of comments saying from Lulu, toys for my feet. Yep, if you want to play some PSVR, that is going to give you an advantage over other people and possibly be more immersive. Don't try to stand up on it. You're supposed to be seated on a chair or a couch or something. <laughs> uh, someone will try to stand on those. Who knows? And there'll be another episode tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific, and we might actually get an extra video out later today, depending on how much news stuff we have going on. Just a little tidbit. CES actually started today. And here's a little spreadsheet. I'll give a link in the description below if you want to actually check out all the CES announcements before I get to cover them. So I'm gonna blow this up quite enough, but can I make this bigger? Zoom. Basically, there is, I did a whole spreadsheet list. There's computers, laptops, phone announcements. Some of the categories aren't perfect, so you'll have to look through different tabs. But here are the main CES announcements. We got headphones, peripherals, gear, and you'll actually be able to scroll through this and see even more options to tap through and find out all the links and all the big CES announcements. And then I have another CES spreadsheet of even more like minor stuff, gadgets, routers, home security, pet stuff. There's a lot of stuff for pets. There's a bunch of transportation stuff, kitchen, health. So if you wanna get dive more into CES and find out all the different announcements and read a little bit for yourself, there's gonna be hundreds of links in this CES spreadsheet docs I'm kind of working on ordering it together. So be hyped for that. And we're going to sign out now. Pew, 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 pew.